What's up everyone? It's me, Adam Prime, and I'm back with another Common Rider Geats review, but I hope you guys are ready for 12 days of Rider reviews. I'm not really gonna probably put it in the title or anything, but I have gotten a lot of Rider stuff recently, and uh, you know, we're near the holiday season, and I thought I would do something fun, so... Expect 12 or 11 more writer reviews after this one, which I already am going to be trying to get all of those out. So yeah, we're going to be doing some Kamen Rider stuff for a little bit. And uh, we're going to start off the first tw the 12 days of writer reviews with the DX Fever Slot Raise Buckle. It is the a power-up raise buckle that recently debuted in the, um, in the show. You can see all five g can use it, so it's not just Geats, but we also got Buffa, Tycoon, Nya Nago, Na Nago, Nago, and uh, Punk Jack. You got the sparkly buckle right there. As you can see, they all get a... Well, I guess you can really only see on Geats and a little bit on Punk Jack and a little bit on Nago. Um that they gain some new golden clothes on the side you get the fever ray slot it's dx you get the top you get the little sounds no lights but sounds bandai you can see the um boost boost form i guess the the boost fever form it does that it does this you can just turn the slot and look it, you can see all on this, it shows you all the Fever's forms, and you get to see the Geats ID core has the Magnum. Oh, and the zombie one came with the Buffa ID core. Oh wow, Beaten in Nagos does too. And so does Monster and Punk Jack. It's almost like the Ninja Ray's buckle should have came with that ID core. God, why did they not bring it in there? I'm not gonna rant about it, but... This just kind of points that out. It's like, why didn't Tycoon's ID core come with Ninja? It's weird. You get another look of them down there. You know, doing the pose. Got the bottom, which is a bunch of writing. This side just tells you the content. It hasn't... I imagine these are the instructions, because it doesn't come with paper ones. And that's about it. That's the box. So, let's get the buckle in here. And we'll check it out. And here it is. It is nice and very chrome. You can see the nice little gold chrome stars. You get the little thing. And you have a little knob over here. And you can turn it. You got Magnum, Zombie, Ninja, Monster, and Beat. Those are the four. You get all this sparkly golden plastic which is pretty cool you can obviously turn this and it'll say that's all it will do so yeah there's that you can see there's where the batteries are held you just pull out the tab you got 074 for the rail Got whatever this QR code does. Yeah, you get all this nice star detailing on the inside, which I think that's pretty cool. And, uh, and obviously when you pull this down, you can see this is where the button pusher thing is. And yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. You can spin through this and yeah. So, this might be a long video. We got plenty of buckles to try this out with. So, I'm not going to be changing out the ID cores, because, you know, again, it's really, the ID cores don't add any different sounds, so we're just going to be sticking to the buffle one like I usually do. So, let's just get right to it. And if you pull it, victory. 
And that's pretty much what you can do on your own. You can't, you have to pop it back out if you want to change what it is. Like, after, it only does the jingle once, so once you do it, every time you pull the crank, it's just going to do a Golden Fever victory. And here's something interesting. You can somewhat pick out which one you want if you use the dial instead of the crank, but it does not tell the desire driver because this is what tells the bu button that it's going to get pushed on the driver right here because that's what does that. This does not, but if you plug it in, And you can re-roll it as many times as you want. Um, so yeah. And yeah, so you have to reset it every time. You gotta give it a little bit more of a push when you're putting it into the desire driver, mostly because it has this little thing that tells it tells the fever slot when it's in the driver. So it, it gives a little bit more resistance than a standard buckle. So let's uh Let's get the other buckles in here, and we will see what sounds we can make. Let's start off with a good combo of, with boost. So, let's plug this in. I really do like the jingles that are in this fever slot, but it really doesn't make boost say or do anything. Which, by the way, if you pull this again... It's still the Golden Fever victory. But now we have the Hyper Boost victory. So, let's try it. And there it is with that. Let's try it with Ninja next, just because we're already on it. So let's see. Let's see it. Let's see if luck's on our side. that and you get that standard all right let's try it out with the zombie Let's 
do the hyper. And there's that one. Let's use beat next. Just kind of grabbing these at random. Let's use Magnum. Oh, jeez. The chrome is so reflective. Sorry if I shined any of you. Oh, I forgot to reset it. <laughs> oh, first try. <laughs> I just, I do like that each of the um, ones in the chamber get their own unique one, like every single one, but it is missing sounds that were like in the show because like we, we also got to see like, you can get like armed buckles and everything, but this thing can't do this, do that. There's no sound for like the armed buckles that we saw. There's no like specific sound for boost. They just kind of use the golden, the golden fever, like the question mark one as the one for boost. And so, yeah, we only really have Magnum, Ninja, Beat, and Monster. Like, those are the five that are that are built into this, and that's kind of all you get outside of that one. So you get, like, six cool, neat jingles. So we still got a couple to go through. So, and they each get a Hyper Victory. And for, for the last of the big buckles, we have Monster. Okay, that was a mess up. There we go. And this is the still the same old. And there it is with Monster. And it really doesn't matter what buckles you put in here. Because as you heard, all the jingles and everything are coming out of the fever slot. So I brought a l some examples to show what I mean. Like, the only thing that will always change, like, with the sounds that you can get with this in a combination of another buckle, are the, like, the hyper victory. The hyper victories that you get when you do the attack from this buckle. So, like, just to prove, let's show off with some other buckles.
And if you press this. So it really doesn't matter what combo of buckles you use with this thing. It's going to give you the same jingles, like, no matter what. That's that's kind of the thing. Like, if you watch the show, you know in, in like, like story-wise, that if you use both, you get a special power boost. But even in the show, you could use this on its own for, like, a standard buckle. Like, I think we saw geets like actually use this by itself and he was just using monster so you know it it really doesn't know what is getting paired with it but it really doesn't have to You can just make this go forever as long as it doesn't finish. Oh. I don't I was accidentally holding the button. So, anything that is paired with this buckle will always give, like, a hyper victory. That's just kind of the thing. You can really get all the sounds out of this buckle on its own. Like, you don't need to pair it with any buckles or anything to get everything out of this, which is kind of cool. And overall, it, it allows you to just play with this on its own. And honestly, I do just like to, like, put the battery tab back in and just, like, spin this. Just because... That just feels fun to do. So yeah, it really doesn't matter what you pair it with. It's just kind of will give you the same sounds no matter what. And a matter of fact, it doesn't even tell the other buckles to play its jingles. So, it's just kind of one of those things. And if we bring in the gun, the Magnum Shooter 40X. Oh my god. Can't. Oh. Always make sure it is on. When you go to mess with it. It's a great tactical blast. And yeah, that's kind of it. That's kind of it for the fever slot kind of a, a this is like a weird because it's like we got a power up immediately after this debuted like it's it's so weird like after everyone started using these like we're we're moving on to the next gimmick which uh you may or may not be seeing relatively soon in comparison to this video we're the 12 days of rioter overall i hope you guys enjoyed this video what do you guys think of the fever slot i think it's fun i like the uh I like the sounds a lot. I think the chrome looks really cool. Like I said, I love... Like, I just love the dial. Like, I just... I've always loved those, like, kind of slot machine, like, like little containers. Like, I I remember, like, as a kid, like, people having, like, piggy banks that were, like, um, slot machines that, like, dispense candy. Like, I always love just, like, pressing those and just activating them. Because for whatever reason, like, the thing rotating just was, like, yeah. It was, like, the most, like, primal, just, like, yeah. And, like, that's kind of what this gives me. It's kind of fun. It has a ton of sounds on its own, but really nothing outside of that. It really doesn't... It kind of seems like like a first power up it's nothing too exciting but it's it's really neat i like it i can recommend it if this is something that you're like oh is this something kind of neat yeah it's really neat i think so i can recommend it especially if you are just getting a lot of the bigger buckles because uh it has its own sound so that's kind of just the cool part so thank you so much for for watching I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this. Uh, tell me what you guys think. What was your favorite fever form? Like, again, one of my... F if you listen to 
um, Toku Brew, you know my favorite moment in recent episodes was when Buffa in his fever form with the double zombie just chainsawed somebody. That was amazing. I don't know. So what's your favorite? Like, what would be your double buckle pairing if you had to use it? Like, I don't know. Leave that down in the comments. So, until whatever I do next, bye.